All right, welcome to my Foundation Quest Challenge Guide. So as you can see, I already did page one, and in fact, I did a full challenge guide on that. I will link it in the outro if you need help with those. They're pretty easy. Page two, on the other hand, is a different story. So for the Tactical Visor Toggle, you need to assist in eliminating Gunner, who is the brand new boss on the map in the new POI. Then we have to deal headshot damage to players with common or uncommon weapons. Then we have to deal damage to opponents from above with shotguns or SMGs. And lastly, we have to land at a seven outpost and then finish top 10. And then to get this one, you just have to complete the other four challenges. So we're gonna start with the hardest one, which is assist in eliminating gunner. So we're gonna have to do this in squads, duos, trios, or solos because obviously he's not in Team Rumble. All right, so we have to go to Covert Cavern. That's where you can find Gunner, the massive boss. But unfortunately, probably a good chunk of the player base is gonna be landing here. So it's gonna be extremely risky. Luckily, we don't have to eliminate Gunner. We just have to assist in eliminating him. So that just means you hit him once and then you hide for your life. Now, what I wanna know is if you damage him and then you die, but you keep spectating until someone else takes him out, does it still count? I don't want to test it, because I want to get this done as fast as I can, but we'll see. Maybe if I die, I'll spectate. So obviously we want to go into Covert Cavern. I don't really see that many people landing here, so I'm going to grab a weapon right here real quick. Oh, that's a sniper. Are you kidding me? The enemy has recruited you. Gently, softly, and permanently eliminate one of them. Thank you. Bring the suit's key card to me and we'll pretend this never happened. My man's trying to snipe me. Sniper Wars? Oh, man! Get bibbity bopped! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we have a flare. If we can just put a flare over there. So we can see where he is. Is he already dead? I think they already killed him. Man. He's got a heavy, I gotta be careful. Oh, I just burned him. All right, let's take two. We're gonna hop right in this time, find him, get a lick on him, and then get the hay better better. Okay, so we're gonna do the Nick A30 strat, which is to land straight down and then slide into that big hole. And they can just drop right into the water instead of glide right down. But you still have to find Gunner. And I don't know if he has certain spawns, I can't really remember. So we're gonna drop right down. We're going to slide from this angle, hopefully this works, into that hole. So right about here, and then slide in here. Oh, jeez, I didn't... The enemy has recruited new spies, and I'd like to know who they are. The imagined order guard suits are I failed this slide, but... What's wrong with my pickaxe? So, um, it's all jacked up. Could you, if you would, gently, softly, and permanently eliminate one of them? Thank you. Bring the suit's key card to me and we'll pretend this never happened. All right, let's find him. I'm not exactly sure where he spawns. I was hoping this was a heavy shotgun. Grab this pizza box. All right, where is he? Ample time to do this if we could just find him. Someone's stealing over here. There he is. All right, we got a lick on him. Now we got to get out of here or hide. I don't have mats. Oh, jeez, he's coming after me. Kill me, buddy. Oh, yeah, exit free. Yes, we got it. We got out of there. Let's let's retreat. Okay, we're gonna hide in this bush now. 
Okay, we got a hit on him. So now we just watch his health until he dies. And that should be it. That wasn't too hard. It's just finding him was the issue. Okay, the problem is... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's gone. I was going to say, the problem is nobody wants to eliminate him. I think that's all his loot right there. Yeah, that's the key card. Get out of my face, kid. Not today, big fella. So there it is, the tactical visor toggle. Probably the hardest challenge there, but not too bad if you use that Nick A30 strat as I just showed you. And that's what it does. Toggles the mask on and off. Not too shabby. People's eyebrow, nice. All right, so like I said, these other two damage challenges are probably easiest done in Team Rumble. We gotta deal headshot with common or uncommon, and we have to deal damage from above with shotguns or SMGs. So let's just play a match of Team Rumble, see how much we get done. Jeez, just stay in a tree, rack up some kills, some damage. Everything. He's looking at my crosshair was right on that guy. The Ranger is terrible. Get out of my face, Mario. And look at that, we finished one of the challenges. Now we just have to deal damage to opponents from above with shotguns or SMGs. Okay, so I think I'm dumb. I understand now. So it's a two-part challenge. It's not land at the seven outpost and finish top ten twice. You literally have to land at the outpost and then in the same match get top ten. Okay, I thought you had to do both of those things two times in a row. Two games in a row, I mean. So now it makes sense. So now that explains why it didn't work in Team Rumble. So there, we landed. Now we just have to wait it out until top ten. Okay, I'm so dumb. So I guess that proves that it doesn't work in Team Rumble. It does not. You have to be in solos, duos, trios, or squads. Because you can't place top 10 in Team Rumble. I'm dumb. It all makes sense now. So as long as I just wait this out, I should be good to go. I doubt any squads are going to be coming over here. So we should be alright. There. We should be in the top 10 now. Let's see. Well, it says we're in the top 10, but... So this is the reward, the rocket wing, plus you get the Foundation Combat Edition. That one looks actually pretty sick. Same thing for the back bling. Nice color scheme. Same thing for the, same thing for the pickaxe. And what's this? The Ultimate Visor? And then the rocket wing stealth right there, too. Nice. So there you go. Let's go back to the challenges real quick. So nothing too hard. I think that boss challenge is the hardest, but at least you didn't have to kill it. Imagine if each player had to kill that boss. That would have been excruciating. But the fact that they made it just an assist is much, much easier. Now this challenge was confusing, but we figured it out. Just land somewhere, place top 10, solos, duos, trios, squads, you're good to go. And the other two challenges were easily completed in Team Rumble. So there you go. Again, I did page one in a separate video if you want to check that out. I'll do a full gameplay and review on everything Foundation related. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.